Though it is wet and raining outside, I know there are blue skies and sunshine ahead as we celebrate the groundbreaking for, of the TCAT Advanced Manufacturing Building. Both the county and the city came together to provide some seed money so that we could have a local match and leverage those funds to get state funding. And because of that leverage, we we're able to make this $21.7 million building a reality. This wouldn't have happened without Senator Watson, without Representative Hazelwood, without Senator Gardenhire, and the work that they did to promote our system and our college. TCAT's going to be in a great position once we get this building built. It should be completed by the end of 2023. We should be able to move in by 2024. So the first floor of this building is going to be for industrial maintenance and our industrial electricity and also a new program in industrial automation. We're also going to have on the first floor all of our student services. We're going to uh, expand our manufacturing program on the second floor, add in our math and reading labs, add in our uh, medical assisting, computer support tech, and administrative office professional programs. It's amazing that students have the ability uh, to move into a career uh, with a 92% placement rate and to move into a career and sometimes in less than one year. When you create these jobs and you have these companies come in here, they're coming here for one reason. They're coming here because they are counting on a workforce. Uh, people that, uh, that are here today, people that will be here in the future, and people that have been through this school. And nobody does it any better than Chattanooga State.